Hey friends, Sandra here and welcome to my channel Stars and Palm and if you're not already subscribed to this channel, what you waiting for y'all? Hit the button there or there depending on where you're watching somewhere over here <laughs> and let's get into it. We're going to be working on my November um, calendar or whatever you want to call it and I've just been meaning to put this video up for you guys for a little time now but finally it's here you guys sorry about that it takes me quite a while sometimes to edit and get these uploaded even sometimes when I already have the footage already filmed so yeah we're gonna work on November and I'm really excited about working on this because of the fact that I get to work with my fall stamp sets y'all you guys know how much I love stamping and how much more when they're my own creations and yeah if you guys haven't already checked out my shop it will be linked in the description box below if you guys want to check it out and get some of your own goodies but I just find that I can really customize my pages so much with these and I just have a lot of fun with it and definitely I don't always make headers as you guys know if you've watched my previous plan with me videos but I decided to do it for this video because I thought it would be really fun to create my own custom header for these pages so I went ahead and stamped out a bunch of the little flowers from this set which you get several of the tiny flowers in different sizes and I wanted to create kind of like a custom kind of flower pattern going on and I really love the way that it ended up coming out. Yes this is a decent amount of time to do it but if you're like me and really enjoy the process of planning then it's really not all that much work in the long run. And then I decided to use the little piece that you get to color in one of the flowers from the stamp set. And sorry you might see my head periodically throughout this video because sometimes I try to center um, where I'm stamping to make sure that I get it correctly. But I really loved this kind of plummy color. It, like It's kind of like a jewel tone. And I thought it was perfect for fall so I wanted to use it on some of the flowers in this pattern. So I'm stamping those in. And I love being able to customize stamps in different colors by having kind of some of the shadow bits or or the fill-ins whatever you want to call them so that's what I'm doing here and then I will be coloring the rest of these flowers with my watercolors and I'm actually using my peerless watercolors this time around I know you guys um, I love my peerless watercolors even though you don't see me using them a ton um, on camera I do use them in my everyday life and I did put them in this album they don't come like this they come in little sheets but basically they're water activated so you can just pick up color using your water brush which is pretty freaking cool and something that I generally like to do is use an acrylic block to have them um, to pull some of the color on and be able to water it down a little bit because if you pull directly from the pad which you can do it's going to be a lot more pigmented so that's just a little tip for you guys so you will see me periodically doing that throughout this layout. One of the reasons I decided to use my Peerless watercolors versus using the regular watercolors you guys see me use, which are very affordable watercolors, and they're the pan style watercolors, is because with these type of watercolors, you don't get that chalky finish. You just get the vibrant colors. And I didn't want the chalky finish because for the technique that I'm doing here, if I use those type of watercolors, that chalky finish would have ended up covering the lines up a bit. And for any of you who use those type of pan colors, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So that is why I went with the Peerless watercolors and I really love these watercolors and I will also have them linked in the description box below as well as any of the other awesome products that I use in my video to help you guys find them easier and I do appreciate all of you guys who use my links um, just thank you as always you guys I really appreciate that and the support and I will have a video soon showing my December stamp sets and I do have some sneak peeks on my Instagram so if you're not following me on there there are links to all my social medias in the description box below for you guys if you want to go and check me out on there and check out some of the sneak peeks I've been posting over there and now I'm just basically taping this down I used my Tombow um, glue runner basically to tape this down but you could use whatever glue you have in your stash I just happen to really love this specific tape runner it's just awesome that's pretty much all I can say about it as you guys know I use it in almost every one of my videos because it's just that good of a tape runner and now I'm creating the header which is the top of the letters for this and I did that by running some gold paper through my cuddle bug machine which is like a hand crank machine that you can use dies with if you guys want more information on that I will make a video for you guys just leave me a comment letting me know but for most of us who do scrapbooking we know exactly what I'm talking about and I will also have that linked in the description box if you guys want to check one out for yourself but what I really love about using this versus using a cameo is that first of all I get really lazy and sometimes I don't want to have to connect my cameo to my computer so sometimes it's it's just nice to be able to just pull out that good old trusty cuddle bug and be able to die cut little things like letters and small things like this and I really love how those came out and I really love that type of 
more of a muted gold so those came out really awesome and I actually used a pad that I've had in my stash for a while which is like from Christmas that you get a bunch of different metallics that are kind of more muted and I did die cut out some numbers as well which I could have left this side without numbers but I thought it would look really cute and I glued those down with my Tombow glue and I really love the way that those look for the letters specifically I tried to use um, actual glue glue because it just puts it just makes them stick better if I can talk <laughs> and I'm using my pink paisley pink paisley pink paisley paper <laughs> and I cut down these two papers that I chose which is kind of like a light pink and a light wood grain and I'm wanting to make sure that I put all of these in the same direction because that's one thing you don't want to do is not put them in the same direction because it kind of looks a little bit weird if you do that so I'm just deciding where I want to put these and going with that and then I'm just gonna glue all of these down using um, my Tombow Runner, but you could also again use glue. I just like the fact that Tombow Runner, if you get it on anything, you could literally just rub it with your fingers and it will come off. And I really love having that ability because you never know when you want to maybe try to bring some, something up or take something off. I know that I'm super indecisive, so yeah, it happens and it has happened. So I'm using the banner from my latte uh latte planning stamp set and it fits perfectly into these boxes um wink wink <laughs> and i really love how those look and i used that same plum color that i used on the top of my banner because i really like it well no actually it's a different color it's more of a purpley color and i'm using i believe one of my brilliance inks um if i can remember i will link it in the description box below for you guys but it's just a really really pretty purple and i thought it would be perfect for this layout because even though i was originally thinking of doing more of like an orangey browny kind of color for this layout i was really more inspired by kind of plums and jewels for this layout so i decided to kind of go more that route and then add like a few touches of, of different colors here and there and I'm adding the little fox from my stamp set, which I think is adorable. But you're going to hear me say that a lot because I just can't help myself. I just I think they're just stinking cute. And they're just big enough for you to see them, um, but not too small either. Because as you guys know, I don't like stamps that are too, too small. I just feel like I'll lose them and it just doesn't look, I don't know, as cool to me. And then I just put Thanksgiving and stamped it there. Even though it technically says Thanksgiving already on that box, I like the way mine looks. And that is actually my own script in that stamp set. So I actually wrote that. And I think that's pretty cool. I don't know about you guys, but I, I think it's always fun to see something like that. And that is the my Instagram right there, obviously. So if you guys want to go check me out on Instagram, you totally should. And as I said before, I do always put the links in the description box below if that makes it easier for you guys. But I just think it's really fun. And I usually do post sneaks of things before they're on my channel so you guys can interact on me there. And I love just talking to all the lovely, sassy ladies who come over to my Instagram and leave me comments and sometimes we talk back and forth. Hashtag Sassy Club for Life. <laughs> uh, I really do love interacting with y'all and just talking and just getting feedback on things. It's really awesome. And I can't wait to show you guys some of the fun things I have in store for this month and December, you guys. I have a lot of fun videos I've been meaning to put up. And so I can't wait to get those up for you guys and see what you guys think. And I'm, I am stamping little things throughout this layout from my set. Those leaves are also from my stamp set. Um, as you guys know, I generally kind of layer. My whole process of planning is a whole process of layering things and bits. So basically you just see me layering and going back and forth with stamping because that's kind of like how my brain works. I kind of just keep adding and adding till it looks right and just filling up little spaces. And once it looks right to me, it looks right to me. And I think this little turkey dude is so cute. I'm going to call him Norbert. <laughs> You can call him whatever you like. He could also be a Henry if you ask me, but yeah, I think I'm going to go with Norb. <laughs> and then the little pumpkin for my stamp set as well, which is so cute. And it's just so much fun. I, I always loved stamping, so it's just fun to be able to see um, stamping come to life and using it on my planner layouts. And I've been loving hearing feedback from you guys and having people hashtag me, um, and tag me on Instagram and I love it when you guys hashtag me sassy club or hashtag planning with Sandy it's freaking awesome you guys and I love to see your layouts I love to see the ideas that you guys use coming from my own um, YouTube and planner layouts it's always so much fun to see the inspiration and how you guys kind of translate it to your own thing here I am using my little um, icon YouTube uh, stamp which is from planner doodle which I also love 
and of course I'm probably gonna need to stamp that a few more times but I only end up doing it once um, I kind of just generally put in things that I know I'm gonna do on those days but I kind of leave open blank spaces in the sense of like I don't pre-plan my whole month ahead of time sometimes there's things I don't know are gonna happen so I like to leave some open space for other things because yeah you never know what's gonna happen and I can never be one of those people who plans like every little bit ahead of time so I like to leave some room for interpretation I'm going ahead and just stamping out that little envelope dude um, throughout this because I tend to go to the PO box a lot and to my mail a lot as you guys probably know so it kind of comes in handy and that's also for my planner doodle stamp set so it's more of one of those more generalized things that I like to use and then I'm just using my little pen there and that's either from Tombow or Curatoc but either way I will link it in the description box below for you guys because I know I always get a lot of questions about the types of pen I use and in case you guys don't know I am a little bit of a pen whore um, I, <laughs> I have all types of pens I love pens I love to try new pens so that's a whole nother subject which I will also probably talk about in a video because I've had a lot of people ask me about handwriting and different things like that um, and I will say for the most part my handwriting is just naturally like this is just how I naturally write um, but there are different things and different ways um, that I've seen people talk about that I think would be helpful to you guys so I might just do a video in regards to that I'm pulling up some of that blue that I used for my banner to use throughout this layout because I couldn't help myself you guys I had to add a little bit of watercolor throughout this and I'm creating that same kind of gradient effect where it's a little bit darker on top and then lighter on the bottom so it's a slightly ombre who doesn't love a good ombre am I right am I right <laughs> so I'm just adding it throughout here and I'm in a more mellow mood today if you can consider this mellow <laughs> because I know what you guys are thinking that's like when I say I'm hyper and because I drank some lemonade in your gut you guys are like well I don't want to see you when when you drink some coffee girl I'll have you know that probably 75% of my blood is made out of coffee a because I'm Italian and B because I'm always drinking it I'm always like espresso dopo dopo espresso <laughs> Um, I'm going in and coloring in all these little characters with those watercolors. This is part of the reason, like I said, I did not want to use the pan ones because they would cover the lines kind of. So I wanted to use my Peerless watercolors and I'm kind of obsessed with them, I won't even lie. I love that you can kind of pull directly to get a more intense color, but then if you want something more muted, you can go with your acrylic block and kind of just add more water with your brother, with your brush pen. I was going to say brother. I'm like, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Um, so yeah, as you can see, I really like the way that that looks, and I'm just coloring my little turkey, my little Norbert, and then my little pumpkins and stuff, and I feel like the orange kind of balance is out my layout because I have a lot of purple and a lot of blues, so it needed a little bit more of warm tones, and I did decide to write in orange on this layout, but I was using a finer point of brush pen than the regular one I used, which is a medium. And the only reason I did this was because I couldn't find my medium. Mind you, it was by the side of my desk and it fell off the corner because um, I'm a crackhead and I just forgot where I put it, which happens very often to me, too often than I'd like to admit. So I decided to use this one and it kind of let out a little bit too much water so the letters didn't look as nice as they normally would in my opinion. So just a tip to you guys, if you're using a new brush pen, I would say try it out on paper and write with it before you decide to write with it on your planner just in case so you don't necessarily mess something up. And I was playing with the idea of adding that fox but I decided against it and I am adding um, so just some ephemera from a pack that I have that matches with that Pink Paisley uh, Cedar Lane collection so if I can find that I will link it in the description box for you guys but it's just really pretty and it just kind of makes it all come together and it all matches so it's kind of really nice takes the guesswork out of it and I'm just adding a few things here and there just because I like the way that it looks having little bits of ephemera and I also love the fact that ephemera tends to be flat because after having used some puffy stickers and things on my layouts I don't always like to do that because sometimes then when you work on the layout on the other side of the papers it makes it a little bit harder when you have that dimension sticking things up so I'm trying really hard to not do that but you know I might get it might get the best of me and I might still do that every once in a while because I do love my puffy stickers but usually the flatter the stuff is the better in regards to your planner which is the nice thing about stamping and putting stickers or ephemera that are flat because you can add kind of like a cool effect without going over the top and right now I'm filling in these little leaves that came from my 
fall planner doodle stamp set and I'm using three different colors to create sort of a gradient so I have like a light brown the orangey that I use for the pumpkins and then a yellow so that I can kind of make it look like what a real leaf would look like so I'm kind of just adding that there and kind of blending it out so that it doesn't look quite as um you know what I mean like it, it has a nice gradient effect to it without looking like too like I tried too hard and I really actually end up loving the way that this looks um, I've done this I think in the past but quite a while ago so I really enjoyed doing that just to add that dimension to it you could also do this by using color pencils or any medium that you have I like to use the watercolors because as you guys know I'm obsessed with watercolors and I need no excuse really but also because I'm already used to the way watercolors work with the pages and I know a lot of people ask me if they warp it slightly warps I'm not gonna lie but it's not enough to keep me from doing it, to be honest with you guys. It's just slightly. And if you're not using too much water, then you really shouldn't have a huge issue with this. If you're getting a lot of warping, then you're using too much water. That's just my personal opinion. That's why I say a good water brush goes a long way, because when you have crappy water brushes that let out too much water, um, yeah, that you're going to have some warping because you're using too much water. So sometimes even using a br like a regular paintbrush, if you don't have a water brush, is better as long as you have good control of your flow of water. Now I have these little bits left over from creating that banner that I thought I would use and just kind of stick in different areas of the planner just because I thought that would be really cute and a fun thing to do, kind of make them look like as if they were a sticker. And I was originally going to create that banner and the header on sticker paper but the sticker paper I had um, even though it's supposed to be completely matte it wasn't really completely matte and it seemed like whenever I tried to stamp on it they would smudge because it was almost kind of slightly glossy so I decided to scrap that idea and just do it on regular paper but if you have some thin matte adhesive paper it would be a really great way of creating your own stickers by using your stamps so that's just an idea for you guys there and now I'm using the larger banner from a latte planning um, I created it so that you could put sayings in it, kind of like creating your own sticker quotes and things like that. That's why you do get different sayings that come in this that fit within there. So I stamped that out with some nice like light pink that would go well with this layout. And then I'm going to stamp um, the words a latte planning that you also get in that set. And I do plan on creating a set that has more things to go inside that banner. So if that's something that you guys think would be cool, let me know because then you could just constantly be customizing um, little, little banner quotes to go on your pages, with, which I thought was a really cool idea because me personally, I love having little quotes and things, so that's just an idea. I love to get your guys' feedback, so that's another cool thing of having y'all follow me on Instagram because I generally post kind of like feedback type posts on there and I love to hear from you guys. And I'm using this little washi tape that I have in my stash. It's really gorgeous, kind of coppery sort of pink tone. It's like kind of like a rose gold tone. Um, I really love it and I love that it's thin, but I will say with Little Bee Washi is that sometimes it doesn't stick the best and it's that's really annoying um, about it. Even though they make really gorgeous um, washi tapes, and this is not always the case with all of their washi tapes, some of them work better than others, but with the skinny ones I have had ha this happen before. So that's just a fair warning. I mean, it doesn't stop me from buying them. I knew this before I bought this tape, just as a forewarning, but I still wanted it because I loved the tape. Um, but what I'll end up doing usually if I see that it doesn't want to stick properly is I'll just add a little bit of glue with that little Tombow adhesive front, uh, the Tombow adhesive that I have that has that little fine point because you can put very small dots of glue just to hold it down permanently. So I just wanted to say that just because I love to be completely honest with you guys about things like that. So before you buy it, you know. And I know a lot of you probably already own a lot of Little Bee Washi, but I still wanted to say it and put it out there. And right now I'm just stamping inside the little purple banners because, again, a lot of the sayings that you get in that set also fit within the banner. So you can create little banners with quotes or things inside of them. And that one just says pumpkin spice. Hashtag pumpkin spice. <laughs> because we all love our pumpkin spice lattes. I'll be honest with you guys, pumpkin spice latte is not my favorite. I prefer the chai eggnog, um, which I know probably sounds really gross, but anyone who loves chai... Um, will know, will feel me on this. The chai um, eggnog latte is, am I saying it right? Chai latte, is it the chai latte? I'm not even sure what I'm saying, but you know what I'm talking about, right guys? All right. <laughs> so I went ahead and just added that one more piece of ephemera as you saw, and I stuck it down with my Exron sticker maker. And now my layout is done, you guys. I really love it. I did stamp some more off camera, like the little footballs and stuff from that same set. But overall, I really love how this came out, and I hope you guys did too. And be sure and hit that subscribe button and like this video if you want to see more from me, you guys. And join the Sassy Club! 
As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye!